Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my October book haul. I was really good in October and didn't get that many books and I was really lucky in that some publishers sent me some books this month as well. So let's get right into it. First book I picked up is a graphic novel and that is Road to Riverdale Volume 1, stories that inspired the CW's new Riverdale series. This is by a bunch of different authors. Um, featuring stories by Mark Wade, Chip Zdarsky, Adam Hughes, Marguerite Bennett, Cameron Dorado and Tom DeFalco with art by Fiona Staples, Erica Henderson, and Adam Hughes, Audrey Mock, Sar Sandy Jarrell, Andre Simanowicki, sorry about that, Jose Villaruba, Jen Vaughan, Kelly Fitzpatrick and Jack Jack Morelli. Um, there are a ton of uh, uh, Riverdale and Archie comics and graphic novels that have come out since the series and this is just one of them. I want to see what this is like. I'm really in love with Riverdale at the moment. So I was kind of happy to have this read before season two started but I haven't. Um, I'm going to collect all of the Road to Riverdale ones and see what they're like. Uh, the artwork in here looks really cool and I'm really interested to see what sort of stories these are and then also get, I think there's a series called Riverdale and I think there's also a series called Archie as well. So I'm really excited to get more into uh, the Archie actual comics because I haven't I've never read an Archie comic so I mean even though these are like the new modern stuff hopefully it'll be a good gateway into the original classic stuff. If you guys watched my last book haul you'll know that Hatchet kindly sent me a copy of Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry uh, Maniscalco so I bought Stalking Jack the Ripper which is the first book in this series I'm really excited to read this series I love anything to do with Jack the Ripper so I'm really excited to get into this book I can't believe it's taken me this long to get it but to be fair the paperback version just came out uh, during October October, so I'm finally glad I've got this. I'm so excited to dive into this one and then continue on with the second book. Um, I honestly don't know what this series is actually about apart from that there is this woman who cunts and stalks Jack the Ripper. He murdered women in cold blood, he terrorized an entire city, he, haunt he taunted those of us who hunted him down but despite all these horrors in the end I could not deny I was the girl who loved the Ripper so that's really intriguing and I'm really excited. Then I got God's Grave by J. Christoph. Now you're probably wondering, Victoria, you hauled that last month because the publisher sent it to you. And yes, they did. But I bought myself a copy this month because Booktopia had signed copies for sale and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to have a signed copy of God's Grave because my copy of Nevernight is signed. Last year I went to the Nevernight launch and I was planning on going to the God's Grave launch this year in Melbourne, but I didn't manage to get there so I was kind of disappointed but not because I already had a copy of the book and I was reading it so that was really exciting but then I saw these on Booktopia and thought I'm going to add another signed J. Christoph book to my collection. I have all but one of his books signed at the moment that I own so I'm really excited to have another addition to my collection and this book is epic so it just needed a little bit more epicness in the signedness of the book and I also get to pass on the original copy I got to a friend. Hatchet then kindly sent me a copy of The Last Namsara by Kristen uh, Ciccarelli. I think that's how you say her last name. I apologize if, apologize if it's not. I don't really know what this is about apart from the fact that our main character is a dragon slayer and that is all I really want to know. I've heard really great things about this book. So thank you so much Hatchet for sending this my way. It's also so pretty. I don't know if you can see but it's got a ton of like gold on it. It's really pretty. I've heard really great things. It's a fantasy, obviously. It's got dragons in it, so bring it on. Hatchet also kindly sent me a copy of Wright and Link's Book of Mythicality by Rick McLaughlin and Link Neal. I'm actually, at the point of filming this, I'm currently 90 pages in. I'm really enjoying it. I love Wright and Link. I love watching their videos, and I tune in to Good Mythical Morning every single night when the new episodes are released here. Um, and I love listening to their podcast and watching what the Mythical crew is up to on This Is Mythical. Um, I just think they're really fun guys and I was really excited about this book. It's interest it's really interesting so far about their life um, and it's also like inspiring and funny and I'm really enjoying it. If you're a fan, make sure you do pick it up. Finally, the last book I got this month was kindly sent to me from Harlequin. Um, and I'm so excited for this one. It is Zenith by Lindsay Cummings and Sasha Alsberg, the first book in the Androma saga. This was originally released earlier this year, I think it was. Um, it was going to be an ebook form where it was had new installments, new parts to it. Um, but the girls were so luckily picked up by Harlequin, so they had to go and write the whole book. Um, I read a little bit of it back when it came out and I was really enjoying it but I just had other things to do. This book comes out on the 11th of January next year so stay tuned because I will definitely have a review up then. I'm really excited for this. I I feel like 
Sasha, who has a channel called A Book Utopia, is probably one of the first booktubers that I ever subscribed to, so I'm really excited to see what her book is about. And I just think this looks so fun. Um, I'm really excited for this one. I'll read you the blurb if you don't know what this is about. Most known most know Androma uh, Rosella as the Bloody Baroness, a powerful mercenary whose reign of terror stretches across the Mirabel galaxy. To those abroad, her fearsome to those aboard her fearsome glass ship, the Marauder, she just she's just Andy, their captain protector. But when a routine mission goes awry, the crew's resilience is tested as they find themselves in the most pa un in the most unfamiliar place, at the mercy of a powerful bounty hunter connected to Andy's past and a harrowing betrayal. Um, but I'm really excited, so I look forward to my review next year. And definitely go check out this book as well as Sasha and Lindsay, who both have channels. I'll link to them below and check out the videos they make. So they're all the books that I got in October, as I said, so much better than September. I'm as an, and well, I mean, I've already read one of them. I'm reading one of them. I'm planning on reading some of them in November and December. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on any of these books if you've read them before. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye.